you six, it's Mrs. Burton here. I hope you guys are well and having a lovely time working from home. Um, we thought we'd do a few video sessions for you um, and today's with me is focusing on some maths following on from Mrs. Bradley's earlier. So before we get started, I need you to go and grab a whiteboard and a pen. Off you go. Brilliant. Okay, so first thing I want you to do is have a look at this maths calculation here. We've got three squared plus 81 divided by nine. Pause the video for a moment and give that a try. Okay, so I think lots of you would have put the answer 10. And if you did, I'm sorry to say you're incorrect. I'm going to come on to that and find out why in a moment. Okay, so this session, we're going to be learning something new for some of you. We're going to be learning something called BIDMAS, which is an acronym to help you remember the order that you need to, that you need to um, complete calculations. So let's have a look. So BIDMAS. If you want to write it down your whiteboard, like I have done here, and then we'll work out what each letter stands for. So the B in bid mass stands for brackets. Okay? So that basically means that anything that's in brackets in a calculation, you complete first. The I stands for indices. Now, Mrs. Bradley spoke about indices in her session earlier, and that's the... Um, power of 2, power of 3, so squared and cube numbers. Next is division. Okay, so the third step would be to complete any division calculations. And also, at that stage we have then multiplication. Just forgetting how to spell multiplication. It's been a long time since we've written on a whiteboard. Okay, following that we've got addition. And obviously you can probably guess the last one. The S stands for subtraction. So, if you have that written on your whiteboard, and then, in the space next to it, you can complete the next calculations using this order. So, I'm going to just leave my first letters on there. So, I've got the word bid mass there to remind me the whole time. And the first calculation that we're going to try together is going to be a nice, straightforward one. It's going to be 3 multiplied by 7 take away 3 in brackets. Sorry, I'm just checking down there because I've got it written on some paper so I don't forget. Okay, so what do you think we do first? Have a little look. Okay, so straight away, now the B stands for brackets, and I can see the brackets are here. So I'm going to work out this calculation here, which is inside the brackets. So 7 take away 3, or 7 subtract 3, is 4. So then I rewrite my calculation, 3 multiplied by 4. Okay, and that equals 12. Hopefully we've all got the same. Okay, the next one we're going to try. Perhaps a little bit more tricky. Let's have a little look at it. Okay, so this one is 25 divided by, we've got a number in brackets here as well, we've got 17 take away 12. Okay, so again, leaves the brackets first. So we know that 17 take away 12 is 5. Okay, now we'll rewrite the calculation out. 25 divided by 5, and you can see straight away the answer is 5. Okay, now coming on to some more tricky ones now. So, rub that off, make a space in your whiteboard again. We're going to go back to the one we did at the start, which is a little bit more tricky. So, we've got 3 squared, okay? Then we're going to do plus 81, then divide that by 9. Okay, so using our bid mass acronym, which should be down the side of your whiteboard still, we're going to think, do we have any brackets? No, so we don't need to worry about completing any calculations in brackets. Move down to the next letter, which is the I for indices. And we can see that we've got one number which has got an indices, three squared. We know from Mrs. Bradley's session earlier, three squared is three multiplied by three. So we know that stands for nine. And now I'll write the rest of the calculation out again. Okay. Now, moving down, I can see that D comes next. D for division. Okay, so I'm going to complete this part of the calculation next. Now, we know that 81 divided by 9 is 9. So I can write the rest of the calculation out again now. So 9 plus 9 isn't 10, what a lot of us thought earlier in the lesson. It's 18. Okay. Now I've got one last one for you to try, 
before I disappear. Okay, so we have got nine squared. So straight away you should be thinking of indices. That might be quite near the start. Okay, take away 36 and then divide by nine. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a few moments. You might want to pause the video actually to give that a try and then we'll go through the answer. Okay, so we've got 9 squared, which again, there's no brackets, so indices is the first thing. So 9 squared is 81. Subtraction is right down here, so we're going to leave that for now, and we're going to jump to this part of the calculation. So I know that 36 divided by 9 is 4. So I'm going to get 81, take away 4. Okay, so I now know that that calculation is 77. There you go. Hopefully that's all made great sense to you and you're going to be superstars at big maths. Why don't you set yourself some challenges, write yourself some number sentences, or get somebody else in your house to write you a couple of number sentences and just go for it. Take care. Bye.